Ray, uh, a day of frustration for you today? It is, again. Um, I tend to be saying that quite a lot after games, but yeah, again, uh, another frustrating day for me. Um, really disappointed we never took something out of the game. Um, we matched them, no problem. They never had a shot and goal, really. Hardly threatened. And we give a give away a really really soft goal, and it's it, we've we've paid the price for that, and uh, it's it's frustrating for me. Perhaps the only difference I felt between midweek and today was we, we couldn't quite exploit the, the wide areas as much as we did on Tuesday. Is that fair or not? Yeah, well, I think I think in the first half, um, was it the first half I can't remember what, when it was, but we got into some really good areas today. We really did um, different types. We got Demi in the good areas down the right, you know, with uh, Lewis Kidd in the good areas, second half down the right, Tommy down the left, and we got into really good areas today, and and we didn't have the quality to pick somebody out, um, find that pass that creates the chance. You know, we've had headers, we went past, we've had headers, we went past. It's just so frustrating, and uh, and for all the hard work that they've put in over the last. Uh, Tuesday, Saturday against both league leaders at the time to walk away one point after the performances and the effort and is extremely disappointing for me because on the two showings there, they're not a bottom of the league team against the top of the league team. We're just lacking a wee bit right now and uh, we all know that but the effort and the, the attitude and the discipline and it has been excellent. I, I can't fault them today. I'm just disappointed we didn't take someone. We deserve to. You know, mistaken stuff aside, the formation, we seem to look a bit more solid because, you know, with due respect to both goalkeepers, I didn't think either of them had too much to exactly. do today. Exactly. We, Lauren Shankland has scored 25 goals this season. He, he's on fire. He never had a touch of the ball today until we changed our system and went, and went for the equaliser. He, got, he maybe had a, a look in late in the game, but um, he never had a touch. But like I said, we, 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 we dealt with the, what they've got very, very easily. The two white players never got us and caused us problems. So the shape's good. Um, we need to play that shape because that's where we're getting more width from because we don't have wingers. And we do have to invite teams on because we've got pace up top and we don't have a light player. So we're, we're aware of where we are. We've set up and uh, to, to suit the best way we are right now. And, and the last two games have been excellent. Um, I just wish, uh, and probably every Falkirk fan does wish, we have a Shankland or a, a really flying winger or a Messi. Somebody that will go and create that spark for us. But see, at the moment, we don't have it. I'll try and find something like that in January. But again, today, I can't fault the players apart from... We haven't concentrated and, and gifted them a, a victory. And uh, just on that point you mentioned there, and for the fans that couldn't make the forum midweek, you uh, drawing up your, your shopping list for January at the moment? Well, we're working hard to try and identify people, and it does change over the next eight weeks. Some people are not playing right now, and then suddenly they find themselves back in the team. So it's not as easy as to go and sign eight players because you know they're under contract, most of them, loans, and, and things do change. So. But we are compiling a list of players that we, we want to target um, and hopefully we'll be successful with some of them. Um, if so, that'll give us a different balance to the team. I did say that during the week to the, the fans and that. But, you know, where we are at the moment is we, we need to adapt to the, the squad we have and uh, and play accordingly to get the best. But I think you see today and Tuesday and, you know, it's just so frustrating for us. And I, and I know the fans are frustrated as well. We're all feeling it and I'm frustrated, but I think we deserve a lot more at the last two games. Just finally, obviously, the Derby game's coming up. You said previously we were didn't quite do ourselves justice in the last one. Can we do that this coming weekend against Dunfermline? Well, I absolutely hope so. I hope the players take the confidence in the, the last two games, show that resilience, that 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 effort and that desire, and uh, you know, hopefully we we'll maybe get a wee bit of rub of the green that we haven't been getting in the last two games, and uh, hopefully we get that against Dunfermline. Here's hoping we do. Ray, as always, thanks, thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you.